Good afternoon, everybody. It's Jane. Hope you guys are doing well today. I am. <laughs> there was unfortunately a car accident on my road and I've been out of power for quite a few hours. Um, hopefully the people or the person that was in the accident, the crash, is okay. So I'm fine. I'm just, it kind of just disoriented my day a little bit. But what I want to show you guys today is first the beautiful tree that I've been making and I've been adding, um, they're actually real pearls, these little um, pearls on it. So how beautiful is that? I wanted something to kind of give it a little bit of bling but not over the top because the iron orchid um, mold texture is just really kind of delicate like porcelain. So I just added some pearls to that. So I wanted to show you guys, and I just used tacky glue, my fave. Um, before I show you what we're gonna do today, which is using my favorite German glass glitter and the sterling silver on some pine cones and a tree. I wanted to show you guys how I do that. I wanna make sure that you join the Painted Cottage um, Facebook group because I am part of, of a collective workshop, the Winter Wonderland workshop, where we're going to be making over these wooden birdhouses. They all might be a little bit different and if you want to join us, it's on the 4th and it, it does go from I think 10 in the morning um, Eastern Standard Time until 3. And that might be nine in the morning, actually, because it's 10 in the morning Central Standard. Well, anyway, if you go to the group, I'm gonna be posting all those details and the other ladies that are gonna be teaching and they're really talented and wonderful will correct me if I'm wrong. I am a little dyslexic, so I'm slightly worried about the times. But we're going to be doing over these birdhouses in our own kind of take and the theme is a winter wonderland so um, I'm really excited about it so make sure you join the group the painted cottage it's free and if you can't join live for one or all of the workshops that we're gonna have it's coming up Saturday you can watch them in the group on the replay so be sure to, to join us I also wanted to let you know and, and actually I wanted to thank um, all my wonderful customers who took advantage of my Black Friday promo and a bunch of you got your own little vials of the German glass glitter in three different colors. So thank you so much for supporting a small business. My Surface Anthology membership is open. That is another promo that, a promo that I'm doing and it is a bonus workshop where we'll be making some beautiful um, holiday, Christmas, wintertime decor. So if you'd like to check that out, go to surfaceanthology.com and click on the membership. All right, onward. So I, my name's Jane and I have a problem with pine cones. I love pine cones and I love putting glitter on them. I sell bags of glittered pine cones that I've made myself in my shop and I just love them. And my one regret when I lived out in California is I didn't bring back, they have pine cones that are like massive. And I didn't bring out a box of those and I should have. Um, so I'm gonna use our little New England pine cones that I've collected. And I know all the best pine cone collecting spots that I go to. And um, people see me, they must think I'm crazy, but I bring my bag and I fill it up with these pine cones from the ground. So. The thing you have to make sure when you're you're getting ready to use pine cones for decor is make sure they're dry. And if you're dying to use them immediately and you can't dry them naturally, what I do is I take like a jelly roll pan, I put down a piece of parchment paper, and I'll put them in an oven like at 200 degrees, just really low, and I'll check them every few minutes and just make sure they're drying out, if there's sap coming out, and that little insects coming out, 
and that's why you need to have that parchment paper there. But I have two different species of pine cone, and I don't know what they are, but <laughs> the shapes are different, and they're beautiful. A lot of pine cones that like I'll hang from my tree, I will just take a little eye hook and put right in the bottom here, and then you could put a beautiful ribbon on and have them plain or have them glittered, and they just add that special touch to your, um, your Christmas tree and your decor. You can glitter them, put them on a mantelpiece. There's just all kinds of things you can do. So what you're gonna need are pine cones. I'm using um, just a, an, it's actually an old piece of iron stone. And the only reason I'm using this, and my friends are gonna laugh because you know they know I love my iron stone, is my dogs are downstairs and if I run down to get a plate, they're gonna follow me and invariably they're gonna start barking and interrupt the whole thing. So I'm using this. And you're gonna need a paintbrush. I'm just using, a, uh, look at this is an artist brush and it's a natural bristle brush and some Elmer's glue. And I keep mine in this gelato container because it exploded. I had a giant thing of Elmer's and it just exploded. I don't know what happened. And um, I wanted to save it, so I ran and grabbed that. And of course, you need your real German glass glitter. This is the real deal. I sell it in my shop. It's from Germany and it is crushed glass with sterling silver on it. There's nothing like it. And I custom blend my own in a few different grits um, to get really good coverage and really nice sparkle. All right, and I'm also gonna throw in this tray. This is a bottle brush tray, but it's not made out of a natural, um, you know, usually it's some kind of a natural fiber that they put in there so it's plastic so I'm hopefully hopefully it's gonna go well um, I found it in my stash and I said well I can put glitter on that so make sure your your bowl is clean and you want to catch your glitter um, it's it's not inexpensive and you want to catch it so then you could pour it back in the container and reuse it so we'll do this one first. So I take my brush and just dip it into the Elmer's. And I find Elmer's is just the best glue for this. And I'll put my fingers down here, be aware of where your fingers are. And I'm just gonna brush the glue on like this. And there is no right or wrong way to do this. And the more that you do, the better you'll become at like, you know, I'm somebody who likes a lot of glitter, so I'm gonna really load up my pine cone. Or you might be someone who doesn't like that, you just want a touch of glitter. I'm using the sterling, the silver, but there's different colors you can use. I've done gold, I've done just the clear glass glitter and it's, it's subtle and really, really beautiful. Okay, so you could see the glue all on my pine cone. And then I take my glitter and I'm just gonna shake it on. And look at that. It's really, really beautiful. There's nothing like it. It's really the best. So you just give it a little shake, turn it, make sure you got all the areas that you wanted. And there it is. Beautiful. And then what I didn't say, and I should have, 
I have a piece of wax paper next to me and I just lay out my pine cones on the wax paper and let them dry that way. All right, now we're gonna do this one. And these are really good for putting in little eye hooks if you want, because they're very, very sturdy. So, just brush on your Elmer's. Now, the sterling glitter, the German glass glitter in silver, and it really is sterling, will tarnish. I like that. If you don't like it, what you do is you just, at the end of the season, when you're no longer um, displaying your pine cones, put them in an airtight bag, like a Ziploc bag, and they will stay really beautiful and silver. Same with any ornaments that you use the, um, the German glass glitter on. All right, that looks good. And you just shake on that glitter. I don't know if you guys can hear it, but the glass hitting um, the iron stone is making like a little tinkling sound. I just love it. The sound of German glass glitter. And look at that, isn't that beautiful? I don't have my light set up well um, to hit that, but they're super sparkly. And when the glue dries, it's really gonna sparkle because right now it looks like white underneath the glitter, but it's going to dry clear. And honestly, these are just gonna be gorgeous. Centerpieces, they look beautiful. Um, you name it, they're just gorgeous. All right, I'm gonna stand that one up and then we'll just do our little guy here. And make sure you have some water so you could put your brush in it when you're done because you don't want to wreck your brush. And I'm just hitting the tips. You could also go in the other way, go the opposite way if you really want to get them glowing with the glitter. So going inside a little bit into the I forgot what these are called. I think it starts with an F. And that's the little seed. Get that out of the way. All right, put my brush into some water and just shake on that glitter. And because I put it on the inside, I'm gonna also shake it from the top. And you see, a little bit of this glitter goes a really long way. But look at how beautiful that is. So that's it, you guys. A really, really quick and easy way to create some gorgeous ornaments. Oh, wait a minute. We didn't do our tray. Here's our pine cones. This is what I do. I just put them right on the wax paper. Let those dry. I use wax paper for everything. Let's do the tree. I wanna see how this comes out. So now with the tree, I'm gonna use a bigger brush so I can get more of these needles. Zip into my Elmer's. And I'm just brushing that on. I'm actually gonna move that out of the way because I don't wanna drop glue onto my glitter because that's all going to go right back in. And 
when you do this, you'll see it kind of stretches out, but then it forms little beads on the ends of the needles. The other thing I wanted to say um, is join my email list because a lot of people asked me last week about um, getting in the Iron Orchid paint inlays, which I have all three of them in now, and you can order them. And I did send out an email. So make sure to get those emails that you go to either surfaceanthology.com or chalkmercantile.com and just sign up. There's a little um, offer for a essential planner printable. That's my email sign up. You just sign up for that. You don't have to print out the planner printable, uh, but then you'll be on my email list and you'll get the notifications. Okay, so I've got the pine cone all glued up. bring this over here and I'm just going to shake on the glitter. Give it a tap. I'm kind of turning my tree so I get it from all angles. Let me grab my spoon. Oh, it's beautiful. I love it. And look at that tree. It's absolutely loaded with glitter. That was easy and it didn't, I really like how it looks on this type of tree. So there you go. How easy is that? It's so much fun. And as I said, there is nothing that looks like, I'm gonna separate those a little bit, like the German glass glitter. There's nothing that sparkles like it. It's just gorgeous. So give it a, give it a try. Let me know what you think. If you have any questions, as I always say, ask in the comments below. For those of you that want to join my membership, the Surface Anthology membership, go to surfaceanthology.com, click on the membership, and you could join there, and you're, we're going to have a bonus for everybody that joins in November. So there's a couple of more days for that. And to watch the workshop, um, join the painted or be part of the workshop join the painted cottage facebook group and um that workshop kind of mini marathon is going to be this saturday december 4th so join us it's going to be a lot of fun thanks you guys for watching have a great day and happy painting Bye bye